Good evening, cats and kittens, snakes and mittens. With doom at an all-time recent high, we're here at the Catsassinor News Jamworks to keep on slamming, jamming, and blamming you the news. So turn your ears all the way up. First, as always, the news is brought to you by our friend and yours, Dean Barry Cake Coggins, Chucker Extraordinaire. A brief glance at the map of Astinor will let you see that we've got doom spiraling out in the east, a little bit to the west, and possibly a surprise candidate for doom of the week to the north. But let's start with some good news, because it's rare that we get any. The dwarves and the halflings have buried the hatchet thanks to the wedding between Ken Hall and Grimvere. That's good news. It's great to see that this happy couple has brought an end to this feud. In other news, this happy couple has exacerbated previous tensions with the Primian East. This is in part because the Primian East has uh, decided to antagonize almost everyone. The reports say almost everyone. But that's all right, where love will find a way. In particular, Love is going to hopefully find a way in the Underdark, where we continue to see operations by our friend from Karazarak. The operation in the Underdark is continuing. Notably, you'll see that our shipyard is well underway. Operations should begin in about half a season. The expedition to the Underdark continues. And in news of extreme importance, Levane has agreed to join the meritocracy, providing us with a druidic focus as well as a new way of looking at the world. We welcome them into the fold and hope to ensure our shared prosperity before Doom claims us all. Our current nominee for Doom of the Week, however, is the growing crisis to the East, with Larrikin attempting to find a peaceful way to provide a home to the Primian Mages in the territory labeled HPE-6. What we know about the negotiations is limited. However, we believe that there will be a solution soon. Again, Larrikin stresses that this would not have been necessary had it not been made known to him that burning at the stake was a possibility for our friends in the Empire. Still, this is our Doom of the Week. Please look forward to it. To the north, crystal dragons are being seen more frequently. While well, not yet doomtastic, it's always good to keep your eye on other places where doom may yet rise. Finally, to the west, Tanif is deciding between two paths forward, one to Gulia and one to Varenzin. We hope that they decide in a nice, peaceful way how they'll go forward. And finally, once more, thanks to you for turning your ears all the way up and slamming, jamming, and blamming on with us, the good cats and kittens here at the Cat Sassanor News Network. And here we are, and we're going to sign off, hopefully not for the last time.